there's a look at an excellent restaurant here in Bangkok. And once again, I am joined by a familiar face. Hey everyone, we're gonna be exploring Silam Road today and the Pat Pong Night Market. Right now it's 85 Fahrenheit, 29 Celsius, and time is uh, about 10 o'clock p.m. Oh, it's 9.48. I don't know. 9.48. There's the difference between the Johnny Strides channel and the Action Kid channel. You get accurate times on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are going to head up to Selim Road. That's one of the two main roads in this area. And as Action Kid mentioned, we're going to head over to the Pat Pong Night Market. a very healthy looking cat. I'm assuming that's not a stray. There's another one here. Oh, there is. So we just had dinner at that restaurant. It was quite good. Yeah, excellent dinner from the mango tree. I opted for the classic, but perhaps Two typical pad thai. I hadn't had one yet on this trip. What did you have? I had a uh, chicken fried rice with mango and cashews. So when I came here in November of 2022, I stayed in a hotel called The Standard, not too far from here. I believe this is Rama 4 Road. There's a lot of street food here. Have you been getting any massages? Yeah, I definitely need it after walking so much here in Thailand. I mean, they're really good at what they do because they're constantly um, working on people. There's some people getting a foot massage. Well, you've, you've taken over 30,000 steps today. 31,000. And me being the jerk that I am is like, hey, let's go for a walk. Hey, I don't mind. It's cooler now at nighttime. This is much easier to do now than uh, in the middle of the day. Oh, it's night and day difference. And you've been making lots of content? Yeah, I have a lot of content to make. <laughs> the Urban Thai Massage. The good thing about all these massage places is that there's a lot of competition, so it keeps the prices low. Urban Relax, an hour and 30 minutes for 750 baht. That's a little under $30 Canadian. You get a foot massage with Tiger Bomb, plus a full oil and body massage for an hour. That's such a good deal. And I know massage places because I constantly go to them wherever I travel just due to the nature of what I do. In New York, that hour and a half would cost like 90 bucks. Oh, wow. Hey, it's the Bangkok Christian Hospital. So here we are, the Pat Pong Night Market. No, I would Pat not Pong <laughs> be interested in a ping pong show. But we're just gonna explore the night market. You'll notice a lack of prices on these items. 
Who? Louis Vuitton and Christian Dior. Yeah, this market is well known for having a lot of what I guess you could say are dupes. <laughs> Maybe they're real, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm sh sure these are real bags. As real as Gucci. <laughs> This market started in the 90s. The street was actually a very well-known red light district. And when the market popped up, that kind of drove that activity more to other parts of the city. This actually kind of reminds me a little bit of the Chatu Chak uh, weekend market. Similar kind of goods. <laughs> T-shirts. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop back up to Rama 4 Road. I don't know if we're going to cover the whole night market. Oh. 100% Thai silk. I bought my very authentic Patagonia hat at a place like this. And it was about 250 baht. So there's some very real AirPods, I am sure. And I'm also sure I'm gonna have to change the audio track. Dude, it's <laughs> music being blasted. Bar. So what markets have you been to so far? Uh, I've been to the Chinatown market, I've been to Cha Thu Chak, I've been to uh, this one. Um, there's another one I walked through, uh, like an Arab street, I think it was Soy, soy 4, no not Soy, Soy 3. So we're gonna go in a giant loop and we're gonna finish up, I guess, right in this spot. So in that direction is Sealem Road. So we're gonna come up Sealem Road through the food area, but we're gonna head back up to Rama 4 Road now. Thanks. A go go bar. Karaoke Gangnam Back up. So when I came here in November of 2022, this wasn't open. Oh, it wasn't? During the pandemic, they closed it. And then as Bangkok was reopening, this didn't open again, I think, until last year at some point. Soccer jerseys. Get some slides. After we're done recording, I might end up buying something here. I mean, they do have good stuff, you know. Lots of souvenirs.
boxing gloves. Have you seen any Muay Thai fighting? Any what? Muay Thai fighting? Uh, I did see some training in like a gym inside a shopping mall. Let's see what's over here. Well, I'm just wondering. All right, so that will take us back up to Rama Road. We're just looking. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. We got tipped off to an entertaining place. No, I think he was telling us not to come here. <laughs> oh. But th this is where the... Uh... Remains of what was once a very bustling red light districts still are. So apparently do it or during the Vietnam War a lot of service personnel would come here for some R and R and that's kinda how this area got kickstarted in terms of its nightlife. The pink ranther. <laughs> the pink ranther. <laughs> Not the Pink Panther, but the Pink Ranther. So you did a video through Siloam earlier tonight, right? I did, yes. About an hour and a half earlier. It wasn't nearly this busy. I think Action Kid is going to go to uh, Pink Panther for a while. And we'll meet up with him when he's done. <laughs> I think I'll uh, pass up on that and see what's different from when I last came here. I think that was a chicken. 20 pot, some fried food. So I believe the road we're going to go to is called Thania Road. And if I can find it, I think we'll be hitting a street that's well known for its street food. Cocktail, spelled with a K. Now you were saying there's a pretty easy connection between the MRT, which is the subway, mm -hmm. and the SkyTrain BTS stations here. Yes, between the Salam line and the Blue line on the MRT. It's not an official transfer, but if you just walk like two or three blocks, you can easily like catch one or the other. And even at the official like transfer stations like Sukhumvit, you still have to pay for both systems anyway, so it's not like it's anything different. That's handy to know if you are transiting between the two different networks. It's really silly that they're not under one fare payment system. I know, it's dumb. Like in Korea, they have so many subway lines operated by different systems, but as a user, you would never know because it's all under like one payment system. And when you're in the one line, you can transfer to the other without getting dinged again. That's true. The same thing with Taiwan. So Lumpini Park is just off in that direction, but we're gonna go by, or go down Thania Road here. We're 
we may or may not be offered some more ping pong shows. <laughs> I've heard this street is very, or is known for having a lot of Asian tourists in particular. These businesses cater to them. You might notice a lot of like Japanese and Chinese on the signs. You didn't want to go in? You didn't want to go in? I'm okay. She might have been saying no video. <laughs> You smile, that sounds like a dental clinic. Yeah. <laughs> Did you do this street on your video? I didn't. It's amazing what a fresh coat of pavement will do. This street is like perfectly smooth. They obviously just resurfaced it's it. so nice. There's Takumi. There are a lot of Japanese establishments on the street. This is like a Japanese street. Yeah, I believe most of these are kind of the equivalent. That guy just pointed a laser and they're saying no video. <laughs> no, this is uh, really skirting the line here, Johnny. I don't think it is. Oh, look at this truck. That looks pretty, pretty gnarly. The guy was shining a laser into my camera lens. <laughs> I do believe in Thailand, if you show something in a negative light, that can actually be illegal. Hmm. Like if you leave a really bad TripAdvisor review. Oh, really? Or if you make a video and it's, not positive in nature, even. <laughs> she just said, take video, no good. <laughs> just walking down the street. I think this is the most times we've been uh, told no video in uh, a single block in our entire YouTube history. Was this the store you were in earlier? Yeah, it was. Don Don Donkey. Well, we're not allowed to uh, video ourselves. Uh, the camera was <laughs> locking into. Oh, I may be slightly inebriated. But we're going to cross the street, and crossing the street here can be a bit of a challenge. One of the best ways to do it, though, is to head up. Shake sure. Oh, I don't think we're too interested. And when you see a BTS station, that's often a good opportunity to cross the street. So this is the Saladong BTS station. And I think you transfer what at Siam Station uh, from yes, the Sukhumvit line. So you haven't had too many instances of people telling you no video here. Um, I think maybe only a handful of times, but nowhere near like on that street we just walked. <laughs> I think this is an escalator. actually going to cross back over to that side of the street, but I want to check out this side of Sealand Road. Did you 
find it annoying how difficult it can be just to cross a it's major so street annoying. like this. There's another Japanese place. Silom, but you'll often see it just written S-I-L-O-M as one word, but that sign had it. Broken up into two. This looks new. Park Silom. Very nice office building. What I really appreciate about Salam Road or this area is how smooth the sidewalks are in comparison to like Sukhumvit Road or Sukhumvit. <laughs> and this sidewalk feels fairly new, doesn't it? It's really nice. Well, if we kept walking this way, we would hit, well, you would turn left and that would take you to the next BTS station, Chong Nonsi station. And that is where the standard hotel is. I think this is the, the street food street. Oh. It looks pretty quiet right now. Fried chicken. All right, I'm going to give you some homework, Action Kid. To What's get back homework? to the night market, what does Google say? I'll take a look. Well, we have to cross over again, the yeah, BTS for sure. I, this might be the tail end because this seems a lot less busy. Yeah. Because this street is like really well known for... Let's just go back up to the BTS station and cross over. There are, there are at grade crossings, but they're a little bit um, more challenging to do. Yeah, this is a... Google is telling me just to go back the way we came. I was hoping to avoid that, but... Just cross the street at grade <laughs> level. I got a flashlight, so... We can uh, let ourselves be known. Right there, there's a crossing. There is? Yeah. Crosswalk. If you're brave enough to do it on camera, if you can no, cross, no if, you, light. if you can cross in Vietnam, you can cross here. The problem is you're literally gonna have to wait till the traffic lights way down there cross. Even uh, that, you know. that police officer like had to run. You know what? It is a marked crossing. It's I'm just, just going. Just go. And I got my go. flashlight too. So they see us. I hear a lot of noise coming from, I just want to see what's up this street. And then we'll head back over to the night market. Oh, there's one of these, or there was one of these in Sukhumvit. like the LGBTQ area. Uh-huh. It looks that way. And it's a dead end, but... There's a look. All right, we're gonna turn back around and head to... the night market. We'll check out that part that we did earlier. This is 
is definitely a city to equip yourself with a bottle of water as you walk around. Oh, I'm always having a bottle of water here. Did you buy some underwear off the sidewalk like this? I mean, why not? It's clothing. Would you wear it before washing it? No. <laughs> you have to wash it for sure. <laughs> I am thinking about taking one of these guys back to Sukhumvit, a tuk-tuk. I mean, it's a fun experience. You do have to negotiate a little bit on price. No, thank you. That nice gentleman, I believe, was inviting us to a ping pong show. We are back to the night market. So it is located between Selim Road and Rama 4 Road. Fruit smoothies. You can get a kebab for a hundred baht, eighty baht, fifty baht for a vegetable kebab. One pace is forty baht. They were so confident in spelling peace that they had to write it five, five times the wrong way. <laughs> And as promised, we have returned to where I said we had returned to. So I'm going to end the video on that note, but I'd very much like to thank Action Kid for being an impromptu guy. We met yeah. up for dinner and I said I was going to record a walk and he said, sure, I'll come. So thank you very much. My pleasure. I mean, I needed to burn off what I ate. So what better to do it than a night walk here in Bangkok, Thailand. Don't forget to check his channel out. He's done a walk through this area and a thousand other areas in Bangkok a little bit earlier tonight. I'll put a link to his channel and when he uploads that video, I'll put a link to that one in the description. And if you wish to support what I do, there's links to my channel. There's links to my channel. I must be <laughs> drunker than I thought. There's, you can find my Instagram at Johnny Strides. There's links to my Patreon and channel membership if you wish to support the channel down in the description. And you can also send a super thanks, but on that note, I think uh, it's time for a cold one. So thank you for watching, and I'll let Action Kid wrap this up. All right. Don't have much more to say, so yoink. I'm just going to awkwardly let it run in. All right. Yoink. Yoink. <laughs> <laughs>